history filled with horrors and fabricated facts, lies, and wrongly dated artifacts that we, the latest generation, fall in love with and approve the genie of the early human being. History, so filled with men covered in glory, but whose deathbeds embodied the word sorry. As for many of them, to become glorious, they saw no way other than being murderers. History, the cup that holds love and hate together, drinks we sip on every morning when we wake up. For us, men and women, we can't live without one. In life, if life was love, for many there would be no fun. History, a class which sometimes defines boredom, even though it is the only way to wisdom, freedom from freedom from prejudices and divisionism, and the mockery of those scientifying racism. We had greats from each part of the world, but to some people, you, history, have been called. Winter was coming, and not only John was to snow. A known, <laughs> a known fact, but hey, why not start a war? Those opposing war are traitors and cowards, as Goring said it was done in Nazi Germany, whose history we are unlikely to ever forget, and on which humanity we look on with regret. I powerlessly look at how wars keep eating men, like chicken wait for friends taken to the kitchen, only to forget moments later that they even existed. Is blood and iron the way we should be defined? That's the choice we face, kill the other, or swallow, our, or swallow our pride and live together and do everything possible not to regret that history has taught us is how to forget. Thank you. Mm -hmm.